Uh, Rob, just that. Rob, okay. yeah. Good to go. Thanks, Mike. Josh, are you a better player now than you were 12 months ago? Can you, do you know yourself? Do you feel you're playing better rugby? Um, yeah, I suppose there's, there's parts of it that are uh, very pleasing. There's things I felt I was maybe doing better 12 months ago. But yeah, it's been uh, feeling really good. Um, I suppose the carrying's been going well and trying to put a big, uh, I suppose more an emphasis on, on hitting a bit harder in tackles. And uh, yeah, it's going, it's going pretty well. I'm pretty pleased how, it's, how I'm going at the moment. That's something you said yourself, the target of, and worked on it, and obviously pleased that, that that did happen and is coming to fruition. Sorry, which way? Sorry, it, like, did you say it yourself 12 months ago, or did someone say to you, if this is a good, an aspect of my game that I should improve on, the carrying and the, the hard running, and work on that specifically? Yeah, I always, um, I always tried to do it anyway. Um, always worked on it, I suppose. Now... I suppose because it's because my carrying's I guess gone well all of a sudden because I was normally happy enough if uh, like I've always been very blessed here in Leinster there's always brilliant ball carriers around the back row and I was always happy enough to to hit the rook whereas now I try be trying to get myself on the ball a bit more um, and trying to take take charge of that a bit more have, get a bit more carries involved so so that's part of it and then. Um, and then there's been different things I've tried to work on, uh, ball carrying wise, changing it up and um, trying to put a bit of speed onto the ball. So, yeah, it's, I suppose it's been working on it for a while, but I suppose it's kind of clicked, I guess, a bit better recently. And is that as much about angles as it is how hard and fast you're running? Um, I suppose so, yeah. Um, I think I, I do a lot of kind of visualization on, um, on trying to pump my legs hard and. So there's a lot of a lot of players um, around the world who do it very well, um, and I think trying to fight after that initial like contact, I used to try and run hard as I could, get tackled, and then kind of just fall to ground. Whereas now I'm trying to once I get tackled, I'm still trying to pump my legs and that. So I suppose it's a mindset thing as well, um, and I guess when it when it clicks, you can kind of things can be going well, and then all of a sudden you find they're not going well, and you're not sure why. And so at the moment it's it's going well. So. I don't know if that makes sense, but... <laughs> What's the mood like now in the, in the dressing room after that? Obviously, last week was disappointment, but I'm sure it's, uh, it's going much more to a different place now today after that, especially the performance, seven tries and a bonus point as well. Yeah, it was very pleasing. Uh, a lot of tired, tired bodies in there. Um, it was a very tough game. Um, Connacht are, are a brilliant side, and um, yeah, it was a tough game last week, as, as you mentioned, and... Um, we weren't we weren't happy with the with the standard we performed at last week, and that was a big focus this week was uh, doing the basics right and and really putting in a performance we can be proud of, um, playing to our potential. And um, I suppose we we got a lot closer to that anyway, and it was a it's a pleasing performance against a, a very good Connacht side. And how was your body? Obviously, you've had a very very busy last couple of weeks, even like you got to be hurting on some level, I'm sure. Uh, I actually feel it feeling all good. I suppose a week I had a week off last week, so that always helps. Um, but yeah, feeling good. Um, but not so much now. I'm a bit stiff and sore, but <laughs> probably not the best time to think how I'm feeling. But um, yeah, feeling good. Body feels good, and uh, yeah, we have a nice you know, eight days till the bath game, so be ready, raring to go for then as well. Looking forward to running back out of the Viva Stadium in the Leinster Blue this time next week. Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. Um, so the support here and uh, here today and in the Aviva, whenever we play there, the support's always incredible. So it's always a it's always a great place to be, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of Leinster flags around, and it yeah, should, should be exciting. The Leinster fans, when the team runs out and you see those, you look up and you see the Leinster flags. It must just give you an extra sense of giddy up, really, when you come out. And Aviva Stadium, of course, it's going to be even bigger. Yeah, it really does. Um, it's something. Uh, when, when I first started playing, I'd try and ignore them, pretend they're not there. Whereas it could, I'd have, like, I suppose I'd be nervous for a game, whatever. Whereas now I'd kind of think, like, all those people are people are coming with their kids or whoever. They're coming out to support us, and it's a very special day for them. Um, so you kind of want to make make them proud and do all you can for all the people who make the effort, especially now when it starts getting a bit cold and you know what they're, at least we get to run around and keep warm. So yeah, it's uh, it's very special the support we we, we get and it's uh, it's it's 
incredibly exciting whenever you hear that, that roar. How crucial were the scores either side at half time out there tonight? Yeah, I, it, it's always a, a good time to score. Um, I think it was, it, it was very close throughout the first half. Connacht were playing very well and um, it gets gets very hard I know from playing if if you're on the opposite side of it if you end up two scores we ended up kind of two scores away from Connacht and then uh, it gets very hard they have start, start thinking of trying to score tries they're kind of chasing the game and then it becomes uh, becomes a bit easier sometimes on our side once you once you keep them right defensively I think that was the pleasing thing I think the the scores were nicely timed but then the defence after that was it was good, and then to keep them out at the end as well was was very pleasing. So, yeah, I suppose the timing of it was was uh, pleasing. I wish they were always timed like that, but um, yeah, it was it was pleasing. How much do you enjoy playing in a mobile back row? You know, with Kevin Doris and Bruce Wood. How do you enjoy that uh, back row playing there? I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I suppose everyone brings brings something different. I thought. The two lads were, were incredible today. Um, thought Kalen was brilliant. Thought he should, probably should have been man of the match, although he came off a bit earlier. Um, and then Reese Reese just puts an unbelievable graft in. Uh, works so hard. Um, does a, so much unseen work. You wouldn't see. Um, hits a lot of rocks. A lot of the hard carries. Um, and then I suppose I get a bit, got a bit luckier today. Anyway, got a bit more space out wide. Um, but yeah, the two of them were brilliant. And then Max Deegan as well was was very, very good. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an enjoyable back row to play in and I think we complement each other well. Okay, guys, do a quick swap over to embargoed content, please. Sorry.